Is that better? Think it. Have a go at these people behind me. Adam Hall about to take the conversion. Hall about to step into this. He scored the try, 32 points to nil. As we've had a little bit of technical difficulty here as Hall strikes the ball and it's good. The Trundle Boomers kick out to a 34 points to nil lead. 35 minutes to go here in the second half here of the Woodbridge Cup Grand Final and the Booners have been absolutely clinical. It would take an absolute miracle, you'd think, for the Manilda Rhinos to come back into this game as Mitch Gibson hoofs the ball. It's not a very good kick. It bounces forward. Hayden Robinson takes the ball and he comes forward. He's put his foot out. Hayden Robinson has put his foot out here and Manildra are going to get ball. So this is the fourth time in the game that they've had ball from the kickoff. And it's going to be a scrum here to the Manildra Rhinos. The ball comes back here through Williams. Williams gets the ball across to Mullins. Mullins a short ball to Faye. You'd think they'd have to score here in this set. The Manildra Rhinos, the ball comes back. It comes across to Mitch Gibson. Gibson across to Hutchings. Down around the legs goes Adam Porter along with Ryan Porter across the top. Ball comes across here now. Josh Ennis Brown, he steps back on the inside. Ennis Brown on the run. He's about to be tackled here. Too short of the line. Josh Ennis Brown plays the ball back here. It's across to Dean. Dean gets the ball across to Gallagher. Gallagher taking in a ball and all tackle. The Rhinos on the attack. Dean back. Comes across to Simon Osborne, Osborne to Gibson. Gibson with a big pass to Williams. He steps, he stutters. Although this Trundle defence is more than willing to take the ball down as the ball is about to be played back here. And it comes across to Dean. Dean gets the ball to Gibson with a kick. Ball comes across. Hutchings up for the jump. It beats them all. Luke Wrigley takes the ball. It's touched. It's been touched by a Boomer and Hutchings gets the ball down. Dead in goal. What's the referee's decision going to be here? A penalty. Offside, offside the Trundle Boomers or tackled without the ball, tackled without the ball. Down here. As the Manildra Rhino is about to take the tap through Dean. Dean gets the ball, it comes across here to Gallagher. Gallagher comes forward. He's taken in a massive tackle there. He may have even lost that ball. Although Will Purdy says no as the ball comes across here. It goes to Dean. Dean scurries out of dummy half. They seem to be very flat in attack here to the Manildra Rhinos. As the ball comes back here through to Gibson. Gibson gives the ball to Ennis Brown. It's probably tackled without the ball there, Ennis Brown, although he will get up and play it. Comes back Osborne. Osborne close to the line. He's hard to stop Ozzy. He's going to get over here, but he's going to be held up. Held up. Simon Osborne held up there over the line. The ball will come back 10 metres to play the ball. Simon Osborne to come back and play the ball here. Josh Ennis Brown down on his haunches here. As it comes across, ball comes across here and it's taken there forward by Harrison goes back. Garrison goes back, taken back. As it comes across from Dean to Gibson. Gibson stabs one in. Hutchings on the chase along with Luke Wrigley. Jacob Harvey will do well to get out of the in goal here. Manildra starting to build a little bit of pressure, but uh, the Trundle defence happy enough to stay in the game here. Happy enough to repel it as it looks like Josh Ennis Brown is going for a breather on the sideline. Adam Hall nudges this ball. It's a big kick. It goes back here to Zach Rima. Rima gets the ball. Rima comes forward. He's taken in a tackle there by Hayden Robinson across the top with a swinging arm. Was looks to be Joe Moss. Joe Moss has come across and got that player late and we have time off. Moss could be in a bit, little bit of trouble here. Uh, 
Will Purdy's called time off. Adam Hall's come out. And he's been given 10 in the bin, Moss. Joe Moss, 10 in the bin. Joe Moss, well, what looked to be uh, just a, a high shot, and it's been, been given 10 in the bin. Manildra never reacted to the tackle, really. And they got... Uh, they've given them a penalty as the crowd is going absolutely silly behind us as the ball is kicked into touch. Ball comes forward here through Gallagher. Gallagher good with a good run. Looking to put Manildra on the board. He's going to be taken down. This Trundle defence is good. Penalty. Brad Watt has stripped the ball away and a penalty has been given here to the Manildra side. 34 points to nil. 30 minutes still to go here. I don't think it's enough time for Manildra to get back into the game. They would need to score here. The ball tapped by Dean. Comes back to Gersbach. Gersbach comes forward. He gets the ball away late. Purdy says play on and it comes back to Gallagher. Gallagher gets the ball to Dean Osborne on the charge. Met by Blake Bridges and Brendan Sense. Also there in the tackle, Hayden Robinson as he comes to ground. And the ball about to come back here. Hutchings on the back through. Mitch Hutchings, the leading try scorer from last year, he is tackled. Gets to his feet, plays the ball to Dean to Gibson. Hitting a ball and all tackle by Adam Porter. Adam Porter has absolutely creamed his opposite number and they get up fighting. They get the ball back to Caleb Mullins. Oh, and another swinging arm there by Adam Porter. It's getting ferocious here, the Trundle goal line defence. As it comes back to Mitch Gibson, he gets the ball through. Cleaned up there by Adam Hall and he comes across penalty. And now it's on. Mitch Hutchings and Adam Porter going toe to toe. Hutchings and Porter. Punch thrown there by Mitch Gibson. Mitch Gibson has thrown a punch. And this will be interesting to see what happens out of this. Mitch Hutchings has thrown a punch here along with Mitch Gibson. And this will be very, very interesting on after Manildra had got a penalty, it probably didn't need to be played on there. The Manildra player is going to be probably called out first here. We could see two Trundle players sat down here, of course. Joe Moss already in the bin as Adam Hall comes out. Hall being instrumental here this afternoon. And the call send him off goes around the ground as it does on most country rugby league fields. And Hall just says to Will Purdy, I'm sorry, as Simon Osborne comes across. And he's been given a ultimatum to settle down or one of your players is going to go off. And Manildra will stand with the penalty here. You'd think they'll have to score here, Manildra. As the ball comes through, Gallagher. Gallagher gets the ball. He goes forward. This has added a little bit of spice to the game. Gallagher taking in a tackle here. They starting to roll forward here, Manildra. They come through Caleb Mullins. He steps off his left. He gets off his right, and he's taken in a good tackle. Ball comes back to Dean. Dean gets it to Osborne. Osborne taken in a tackle there by Hayden Robinson and Jared Hall. They're stacked out to the left here, Manildra. What can they do? The ball comes to Gibson. And also there, it might be Brock Campbell. Yeah, Brock Campbell taken down there in a tackle. Ball comes back here. Goes to Hutchings. Hutchings is big. He's strong. They've held him up, though. He gets a ball away. And Zach Ream is in. Knock on. Knock on. Zach Reamer has knocked the ball on there. Manildra getting their first chance of the afternoon after 64. Sorry, after 54 minutes. 54 minutes of play and Manildra get their first chance to dot the ball over the line. 
and they've been unsuccessful. I knock on there to Zach Reamer as the Trundle boys will see themselves off their own line here with a clean set. Adam Hall to play the ball into the scrum. It comes out, goes to Barnett. Barnett takes it forward, taken by Mitch Hutchings and also Mullins over the top went Mitch Gibson. Ball comes back, Connor Farrah. Mahe Fungapo out on the field. He chucks it up he comes across. He gets a ward away to Ryan Porter. Ryan Porter pushes forward. He's taken there by Gallagher also there. Across the top was Young Wilson and Brock Campbell. He's thrown his knees in there as Young. Gospe and the crowd is going off behind us the crowd is going absolutely off behind us and the ref has seen what's happened the touch charges onto the field and I wouldn't be surprised if young Gosper is sitting over on the sideline and there he goes ten in the bin for young Gosper Gosper's in the bin as the ball's about to be hoofed into touch by Adam Hall. Comes sailing back across our head, nearly hits our friends from our radio channel as Porter takes a tap, gives it to Adam Porter, goes back to Mahe Fungapo. Fungapo's big, he's strong. He's tackled there. Mitch Hutchings makes a tackle along with Brock Campbell. They get up and play the ball here through Connor Farrah. Connor Farrah takes the ball as there's a bit of push and shove through the middle. Ball comes across to Sam Bolan. Sam Bolan gets the ball back. It's off there to Brad Watt. Brad Watt on a forward mission. He's about to be tackled. Connor Farrah backs up though. And Farrah's away for a try. The Trundle Boomers, they stand and rejoice. The Rhinos have been left in a trail of devastation. A try there. Connor Farrah, and you can start singing the fat lady because she's all over. Connor Farrah in under the post. This will take the scores on to 38 0 with a kick to come. 25 minutes left in the game, and you would think from here the Trundle Boomers will be home and hose. Adam Hall about to line up the kick. That was a beautiful bit of play. They skip through the middle of the field and offload from Sam Boland to Brad Watt, Brad Watt to Connor Farrah, and Farrah racing away to dot the ball down. This bloke's too good to be playing in Woodbridge Cup. Sign him up in Group 11, sign him up in Group 10. He will be a star wherever he goes, this little hooker for the Trundle Boomers. Hawley about to take the conversion. Smile here in Boomerville. Adam Hall lines a kick up. He puts it straight over the black spot, out into the car park. And the Boomers with a 40 points to nil lead. The Rhinos have not turned up to play one little bit today. It's funny, a, a column earlier in the year had the Boomers running sixth. They tipped him to run sixth. I never thought that uh, they'd run sixth, but to make a grand final and be as dominant as they have now after losing players, they have uh, they've really, really put the cream on the cake today. Adam Hall, who's been great, takes the ball forward. Connor Farrah with the pick up of the offload back to Hayden Robinson. Robinson up to his feet to Farrah. Parry gets a ball across to Mahe Fungapo. Fungapo throws a dummy, throws a beautiful pass out. It gets to Harvey, back to Sense. Sense taken in a tackle there over the top. Mitchie Hutchings. Hutchings back up. They bring the ball back across here to Fungapo. Fungapo to Hall. Hall back across the back line to Barnett. Barnett gets the one-on-one -on -one back to Hayden Robinson. Robinson through back to Brad Watt. Three tries in a grand final for Young Watt. He puts his finger in the air and says to the Tundle fans, let's play. Trundle Boomers 44 nil. 44 points to nil. Twenty two and a half minutes to go here. The stock that the Trundle Boomers have on the bench that uh, 
aren't even out on the field yet. You've got captain coach Josh Miles just having a look across there. Also there, Kira Maddox. Also, Chessie Durning, Blake Ridges, Mark Coombs, Jared Hall. Wow. How strong. They could have played this on the moon, and I think Trundle would have still done this to the Manilda Rhinos, even though it is a, a home game, really, to Trundle. But Trundle, just absolutely clinical. The word is clinical. As Adam Hall lines up the conversion to add the extra two points. There it goes, Adam Hall. Adam Hall adds the two, 46 points to nil to the Trundle Boomers. And the Boomers will be having a party tonight. As their team song goes, they will sing this loud and proud. Three Woodbridge Cup premierships in a row. They're staring down the barrel of it. Josh Miles about to come back onto the field. The captain coach for the Boomers. He's a larrikin two miles. He'll be loving every second of this. As Mitch Gibson about to kick off once again. You get the air of... Something's gonna happen though. You just you can just feel it in the air that maybe Manilda's got something left in him. A semi bowling comes forward. Jesse Astle makes the tackle. Also out on the field is Luke Wilson. He's in the tackle. Jack Gibson as the ball comes out. Fungapo, he steps off his right, he steps off his left. Osmond tries to make the tackle. Fungapo still going. He gets to Gibson, he gets to Hutchings. He's trying to get the ball away. As Kieran Maddox makes his way back out onto the field. Josh Miles also back into the fray as Hall looks for an early kick. It comes off the head of Jack Gibson. Zach Reamer back there. Although he makes a fumble, Reamer, he gets back to it. Paddy Jones there to meet him in a tackle. Also Miles and Hayden Robinson. The reception party there as the ball comes back. It comes back to Faye. Faye gets the ball. He's taken in the tackle there by Brendan Sense and also Paddy Jones. Comes across to Wrigley. Wrigley to Gibson. Gibson carts the ball forward. Following up the, him there was Luke Wilson. Luke Wilson gets the ball from an offload. He makes metres up the middle. He's met there by Brendan Sense and also Josh Miles in the middle of the cricket pitch here at Trundle. The ball comes back to Brock Campbell. He gets it across to Ozzy. Ozzy clearly been the best player for the Manildra Rhinos this afternoon in a beaten side. They get up, they play the ball back. It comes across to Gallagher. Gallagher steps off the left. He's taken in a tackle there. As the ball comes back through here to Mitch Gibson. Gibson gets the ball, he stabs ones across the top. Taken there by Adam Porter, he cuts a dummy. He gets away from Hutchings. Here's young Harvey down the sideline. Hutchings has got him along with Mitch Gibson. And across the top was Luke Quigley. Josh Miles keen for the ball here, the Welshman. Comes back to Miles. Miles takes one forward. He gets away from one, he gets away from two. He's subsequently taken in a tackle there by Wilson and also Jack Gibson. Ball comes back to Fungopo. Gets a beta Hall. Hall steps off his left. He's back off his right. He gets one back to Fungopo. Fungopo to Farah. Farah gets into open space. Comes across here. Probably got Brad Watt four in a grand final. What a day to remember for young Brad Watt. Four tries in a Woodbridge Cup grand final. 50 points to nil. And it is all over. The only thing we can probably, we can wonder now is how big the score can get to. Adam Hall with a kick to make it 52. 18 and a bit minutes to go here in the grand final. And the Trundle Boomers have been too good. The Manildra fans blowing up about a forward pass, but in the big scheme of things, I don't think it really matters. Jo Josh Miles keen for more success. He's kicking back along with Kira and Maddox. They want to finish this season off on a high. Jesse Durning back into the fray. Manildra must look up and see Trundle make an interchange and just go, wow. Hawley <laughs> about to knock it over here, Adam Hall. Leading player in 2019. Hawley knocks it over. No 
Joe Bloke will enjoy this more tonight than Adam Hall. And he makes it 52 points to nil. As uh, Manildra are about to get this under away again. Hats off to Manildra, they haven't shirked the task. They are, uh, they're still punching away. Mitch Gibson kicks the ball off. Hayden Robinson with the sun in his eyes. He gets it though. And Hado's about to come back into the defensive line. He's taken there by Williams and Fay. <laughs> ball comes away across to Miles. Miles shovels it along to his Welsh counterpart, Kira Maddox. Maddox taken in a tackle. And the ball's about to be played back here to Young Coombs. Coombs gets it away to Durning. Durning puts it into forward and goes straight through the centre of the defence. Brock Campbell in across to finish the tackle off along with Jack Gibson. Josh Miles gets the ball. He gets it back across to Hall. Hall with a fast running Robinson. And also Lewis Barnett down on the right hand side. Brendan Sense calling for ball. He wants it out here on the left. The ball comes back at through Hall. Ball to Maddox. Maddox just happy to cart it through the middle and he says let's settle things down boomers. Fifth and last. They roll their arm. Hall with a banana kick back across. He's about to find Caleb Mullins over from the Manilda Rhinos who picks the ball up. 15 and a half minutes to go here. Ding Hutchings gets the ball back across here to the replacement that comes onto the field. And that looks to be Tyler Webb taken in a tackle there. Webb gets the ball back. Taken across here by Jack Gibson. He's had a good game in a beaten side. Gibson about to play the ball back here to Brock Campbell. Campbell gets the ball, Simon Osborne. Look, I have to take my hat off to Simon here today. He's been absolutely great as a penalty comes. Osborne looks a little bit dazed. He's got up reaching for his head. And they've been given the mark. Mitch Hutchings will take the kick for touch. He puts it into touch, just. And the Boomers are on the attack. Here comes the ball, Gibson gets the ball. He gives the ball off there to Wilson who went without the ball. It's gonna be back and we have a penalty again. Never onside, the Boomers. Will Purdy giving the Rhinos a penalty. Gibson gets the ball to Hutchings. Hutchings has a straight one, he comes into the guts of the defense. He's taken there by Maddox and also Miles. They get the ball back, Miles in the play of the ball. Comes across to Gallagher. Gallagher gets across the field. He's met by the reception party of Adam Hall. Also there, Hayden Robinson. And in the tackle, Lewis Barnett. Ball played back. Goes to Brocky Campbell. He's over the line. Brock taken back though. And he looked like he was going to score there, Brock. He's been taken in the tackle. He's been about to play the ball back to Gallagher. Gallagher shovels it back here to Mitch Gibson. Gibson to Jack Gibson. It's Gibson to Gibson. He's taken down there in a two-man tackle. Three-man underneath goes Josh Miles. And it comes across here, Aussie, and he's dropped the ball, Aussie. He has tried his butt off today, Simon Osborne. He goes down to his haunches, and uh, Simon Osborne looks a dejected man there today. He's, uh, he's tried his hardest. 13 and a half minutes to go. 52 0 to the Trundle Boomers. Trundle with a scrum feed, 10 away from their own line. It's going to come through Adam Porter. And Porter feeds the ball back. Taken at the base of the scrum and given off to Ryan Porter. He steps off one, taken in a tackle by Williams and Hutchings. Hutchings in over the top. They play the ball back now to Mark Coons. Mark Coons across, gives it to Kieran Maddox. He's taken there by Gallagher. He's not to the deck though, Maddox, and he's taken down 25 metres away from his own line. He plays the ball back to Coombs to Miles. Miles back into Jesse Durning on a short ball. Durning taken down. Miles wants more ball. It comes across to Coombs. Coombs gets it back to Brendan Sense. Sense is up the guts of the field and he's off and away the big fella. Brendan Sense into the backfield. He backs himself with speed. He backs himself with strength. He gets the ball back. It's play on to Vanderstock. And Vanderstock has knocked the ball on. 
Brendan Sands turning back the clock. He's been a great player right throughout the Western Division, has Sands. And he was off on a forward mission through the middle of the field. He got to Mullins and he said, I'm going to beat you, young fella. But he just wasn't able to get the arm free and get around the back to JVD. And they were taken down short and a knock-on has happened as the ball comes back through the centre of the field. Young Benny Gospar got the bait at the base of the scrum comes straight back through the center probably not a smart idea as the ball comes back to Mullins Mullins gets the ball back to Faye Faye tackled it there by Jared Hall and in also over the top is Kieran Maddox the ball about to be played back here to young Rima Rima gets the ball away also there Mitch Hutchings taking it forward Hutchings taking in a big tackle they've uh, they've narrowed him down today Hutchings he hasn't been as dynamic as he could be and Hutchings has taken there in a three-person tackle the ball Comes back to Brock Campbell to Simon Osborne. Osborne carts it forward and taken in a massive hit by Jared Hall. And also underneath Adam Hall, they like that. The brothers Adam gives Jared a tap on the bum and says, Good work, brother. And the ball comes across the back line now to Mitch Gallagher. Gallagher about to come forward. He picks out Adam Hall and also Kieran Maddox. They're taken in a two man tackle. Five and last is the call from Will Purdy. Ball comes back here to Mitch Gibson. He's met there by Jesse Durning. It's a good kick. It's about to be taken though by Paddy Jones as the ball bounds up, Rima gets the ball, he toes it on forward, it's a foot race, Brad Watt also coming through was Tyson Wilkins and getting the ball, Vanderstock and he brings it back out for the Trundle Boomers, going very close to the touch line there and Josh Vanderstock, what's going to be the call? Knock on. Knock on there to the Boomers. And it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one rake with Manildra knocking the ball on. Trundle feed, 10 minutes to go. This game's really starting to peed out late in the game as the sun comes back out across Berryman Oval. The Boomers contingent will be absolutely pumped with this win. It'll be a big night tonight here in the town of Trundle as the ball goes across to Porter. Porter gets it to Vanderstock. He gets one-on-one -on -one with Hutchings in the end. Mullins comes across to clean him up. The ball about to be played back to Coombs. Coombs is to the captain coach, Josh Miles. Across there it comes to... Comes back across there to Blake Ridges. Blake Ridges gets the ball. It comes back across here to Josh Miles. Miles comes forward. Miles taken in a tackle there by Brock Campbell. He's playing the ball back there. It comes across to Hall. Hall gets the ball. He gives a short ball there to what looks to be the bloke that was in the bin, number 13, Joe Moss. Moss gets up and plays the ball. Miles has been busy the last five minutes. He gets a tackle there from Brock Campbell. In over the top there was Gallagher. They play about to play the ball back here to Coombs. Five and last. Adam Hall gets it. He chips it across. He's got Robinson coming through along with also picking a ball up there was young Mark Coombs. And Manildra get the ball. They've raked it out. Adam Hall raked it out. <laughs> Eight and a half minutes to go. Will Purdy gives a penalty here, 52 nil to the Boomers. I don't think anywhere in country rugby league you will see a bigger score on a grand final day. 52 points to nil. Results in the earlier games, the Cargo Blue Sheilas were able to get a win in the ju in the girls, and the Manila Duranos were able to get over Trundle in the juniors game. As Williams takes the ball forward there and gives it to Simon Osborne who crashes forward. He'd be up to about 30 hit ups, I'd say, by now. Was he as the ball comes back to Campbell? Campbell gets it to Gibson. Gibson getting one close. He's about to get his arm free, although he thinks twice. Takes the ball to ground in a crushing tackle. Blake Ridges and Mark Coombs in there. The ball's played back here to Brock Campbell. Campbell across here to Gibson. Gibson gets the ball to Astle, and Astle taken in a two man tackle. And Trundle are numbering up here for their last seven minutes of this game. It comes across here to Wazzy. Simon Osborne goes forward. He gets it back to Gosper. Gosper taking in a good tackle there. Here it comes out back out to Jack Gibson. Jack Gibson gets the ball away. 
The cheer goes around. Don't let them in, Trundle. Don't let them in. That they're on the attack. The Rhinos. Mullins chips one across the top. Paddy Jones gets a ball. He's quick, this kid. They want to get him. Paddy Jones back out of the end goal. He beats one. He beats two. He beats three. What a run by young Paddy Jones. Jones plays the ball back here. Durning juggles, though. He gets the ball and he got, sizes them up. Mitch Hutchings gets in on him one-on-one, -on -one, trying to rip the ball, and there's a penalty. Saying Hutchings was never on side. Joshua Miles, the captain coach, and also Adam Hall says, let's get the ball out of here. We've got six and a half minutes until we hold that Woodbridge Cup trophy one more time. And they're happy just to play footy. Ryan Porter about to take the tap. Cousin Adam says, I want some, and gives the ball. It comes back across to Sammy Bolam. He'll be a satisfied man today, Sammy Bolam. He nearly got the way the ball away there to Ryan Porter. Bolan gets up and plays it to Coombs. Coombs to the Welshman, Miles. Miles across to Ridges. Ridges bumps one off. He's strong, this guy. He's too good to be playing out here too. Put a group 11 or group 10 jumper on him. The ball comes back to Coombs. Coombs to Hall. He bounces one off. What's the call here? Boomer's ball. The ball is flittering around in the middle. What's the ref going to call here? And there's a fight on. Gosper's got into the Welshman, Josh Miles here. Miles just gets up and smiles. He says, hey, mate, let's play footy. And the ref's coming in along with the touch judge. Let's see what the verdict is here. Ray O'Brien, the touch judge in. He's calling Josh Miles out along with Adam Hall. And don't tell me the captain coach of Trundle is going to be put in the bin for the last five and a half minutes of this game. No, just giving a caution. Josh Miles. And we've got five and a half minutes to go here in the Woodbridge Cup Grand Final for 2019. You listen to this place erupt when these Trundle guys get out here and they blow the final whistle as a big touch fighter. Lockie Sharp gives the tap away to Osborne. Osborne carts the ball forward. As the ch chant goes up for the Boomers here, the last five minutes, Jaden Faye takes the ball forward here. He's tackled. Lockie Sharp getting to dummy half, 40 metres away from their line. Goes back, carts it forward. They're still numbering up here, Trundle. They want to see a big fat zero next to the Manildra name as the ball comes across to Rima. He's taken in a good tackle, getting to dummy half, Lockie Sharp. Sharp gets the ball back to Osborn. Ozzy comes forward. He's taken by Hall. Underneath there was Blake Ridges. Ball comes back to Sharp. Sharp gets it to Gibson. He puts a big tally ho across the field. Mitch Hutchings comes through, but taken in the end goal by Josh Van der Stock. Trundle will get time to soak this feeling up a home grand final. Four and a half minutes left to go. You'd think that Trundle will have this possession of the ball. Maybe one more for Manildra. And they can finish with the ball in a grand final victory. Durning gets the ball. He picks out Gibson and says, I'm coming straight for you, son, and runs over him. Gibson able to hang on to his bootlaces. The ball comes back to Coombs. Sammy Boland gets the ball, comes back to Brad Watt. Across there to Adam Hall. Adam Hall is about to be taken, although he's big and he's strong. He keeps muscling through to the fence. Lockie Sharp comes in over the top. Also there was Jack Gibson as Hall. He's a wily old fox Hall. He gets back up to his feet. He said, I just want to play footy. Comes across to Brendan Sense. Sense taken in a tackle there. Josh Miles goes to dummy half. Three and a half left to go. Ball comes across to Moss. Moss about to be put to the ground there by Sharp. Also in over the top goes back. Comes back across here and there's a knock on there by Hall. Although the ball says played back and it comes to Porter. Porter looking to link up with Porter. The ball comes out. Ryan Porter about to get the ball. And what's a referee called here? About to get a verdict here from Will Purdy. Scrum Manildra, two minutes and 50 seconds to go here in the grand final for Woodbridge Cup for 2019. They packed the scrum. Ball comes back here, it comes across to Tyson 
Wilkins. Wilkins taking in a tackle. He's about to get up and play it to Sharp. Sharp gets it back. It comes across to Mullins. Mullins to Faye. He's got Reamer on the outside. He's lightning Reamer. He gets away from one. He's about to get... Oh, no! He did not get away there from Josh Vanderstock. And it's on. Mitch Gibson dragging Vanderstock back across the ruck. And Osborne gets the ball. A bit of a scuffle there in. But that was a massive hit by Vanderstock on Reamer. The ball comes back to Sharp. Sharp gets it to Gibson. Mitch Hutchings, he sizes one or two up. He goes through the gap, Hutchings, but he's taken down in a two-man tackle there by Jesse Durning and Joshua Miles. Ball comes back across here to Jesse Astle. Astle comes across, Porter gets him. Also in the tackle there was Jesse Durning. Five and last. Ball comes to Sharp. He tries a bit of late magic. It's about to sit up for Brad Watt, although he knocks it on and Caleb Mullins is in. Knock on. One minute 30 to go, the Trundle Boomers are about to wind the clock down here in what's been a grand final to remember for the Boomers. Listen to the crowd. Crowd is going absolutely wild here for the Trundle Boomers. One minute to go. Ball comes back here from Ridges to Coombs. Jesse Durning, he's no frills. He just takes the ball up and is happy to get down and play the ball. It comes back to Josh Miles, Bull Ridges. Wouldn't it be fitting for the ball to be in the hands of Adam Hall when the siren goes off here in 45? Five seconds time. Sam Bowling gets the ball. It comes across. The Boomers could score here. Vanderstock off at the sideline. Lockie Sharp gets him. Mitch Gibson across. It gets back to Porter. Brad Watt looking for five. Porter's away. The Porter's in in the corner here. Ryan Porter seals a grand final victory for the ages for the Trundle Boomers. She's all over. The Trundle Boomers, winners of the 2019 Woodbridge Cup. 56 0 with a kick to cup. And you can hear them in the background. The Trundle Boomers, winners. I don't think they will even take the kick here. It's going to be a big, big night in Trundle this evening. The kick has still got to take place. Joshua Miles about to uh, take the kick, I think. And you will see these Trundle people converge like you'll never see before. Adam Hall, the chant goes up for Hawley. Joshua Miles gives us a bit of a smile to the camera. Hawley misses it, but she's all over. Trundle Boomers, winners of the 2019 Premiership. 56 points to nil. Will Purdy signals full time in what has been a very, very entertaining 2019 decider.